What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to enable hidden debugging menus in a lot of different Google apps. These debug menus oftentimes hide some upcoming features, or at least give you access to some extra options. This gadget hack does require root, but you can get that taken care of in under a minute if you follow the guide I have linked out in the full tutorial. Basically, just head to the link in the description below this video, and you'll find everything you'll need to get this one going. But the app that makes this all possible is called Debug All The Things which was created by developer Greg Willard and the Proto Dev team. It's available for free on the Play Store, so to get it installed, search hashtag debug all the things, which is all one word. When you first launch debug all the things, you'll be asked to install the SQLite binaries if they aren't already installed on your system. Since I've already done this on my phone, I can't show you the process, but basically you just tap the message from debug all the things, and it'll take you to the Play Store page for an SQLite installer app. Download that, then run it, then hit the install button in the app and it'll install the SQLite binaries. After that's taken care of, head back into debug all the things and tap any of the enable buttons. The app will ask for super user privileges when you do that, so grant it those. Then you can go down the list and enable debugging options on any of the apps that you'd like. The changes take effect automatically, so other than maybe restarting the app you just modded, you're good to go. So take Play Store for example. You head into the side navigation menu and you can see a new debug option. Head in here and you'll find all the new settings that have been made available to you. There's not much that any of these can do for end users right now, but at some point you may come across an early version of a hidden feature or two. Really, this should help developers more than anyone, and you can look at it like enabling developer options in Android settings. But for more tips and tricks like this, be sure to check out my full tutorial over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks, but until then, Happy Gadget Hacking!